Hello there programs, it's Ruza here and welcome back to another episode of What's the FX. This week we're going to be rocking and rolling with behind the scenes of Mad Max. So how do we even begin to describe the special effects and stunt coordinations that goes on behind the scenes of Mad Max? Because there is a lot going on guys and I do mean a lot. Most of the special effects started at one place, an intricate storyboarding process. Now we're talking about thousands and thousands of storyboarding panels that were planned probably years in advance before the movie even took place. And that's where it all began. Now, the great thing about the special effects within Mad Max is they tried to stay true to the original films. George Miller, who is the director, and Andrew Jackson, who is the visual effects supervisor, actually worked on the original Mad Max films. And they relied heavily on practical and stunt-driven effects, which is why that movie was so epic. And that is because of one reason. It's all real, people. It's 100% real explosions, car crashes, people jumping from vehicle to vehicle at 140 k's an hour in the middle of the freaking desert. It really brings the movie to life in a way that CGI just cannot seem to reproduce. Now, the CGI that was used was only there to remove harnesses or any wires you would see from the shots. I also talk a lot about practical effects in my Inception video, which you can check out right here. Now, that opening stunt where Max is being chased by that war party and he rolls his car across the desert is actually a very highly complex stunt. In the older Mad Max films, they performed a stunt called a T-bone, where a stuntman would hit a car with a buck and be flipped over the front. That same stuntman actually wanted to roll a car more than anyone had before. So what they did was they rigged a car with a metal rollover mechanism, which would push the car up on one side and allow the driver to steer into a roll. Now it sounds quite chaotic, but it is very precisely planned and executed to get the car to do exactly what they wanted. To get some of the shots they needed that the original couldn't quite pull off, they used edge arm cameras, which are these frames attached to cameras and then mounted to cars and they used these cameras in very effective ways that some effects driven films haven't even attempted before. That scene where the war boy is jumping off the end of the rig, I think we need to understand here that you know everything is being done on the move or let me rephrase everything is being done while you're going like a bat out of hell and they had to create this gigantic construction on top of that war rig to hold that actor. I mean we're talking about a couple people to operate the camera, five people to operate that whole construction rig. I mean, the math, science, and engineering that had to go into that to pull it off without killing people is quite astounding because that actor gets dropped inches from the ground. So it's just insane. Now just hold on for one second. Could, could you just imagine being in the middle of the Namibian desert with no civilization in sight and hundreds of these mashed up post-apocalyptic vehicles of all shapes and sizes hurtling through the sand at 140 k's an hour. Man, it must have been one hell of a sight to behold and I wish I could have witnessed that. 80% people, 80% of this film was practical and stunt driven effects. Those polecats were not CG guys, those were real people being swung left to right between vehicle and vehicle moving at pace. And I'm telling you now, any one mistake, we're talking about major injuries possibly even death. So mad respects need to be given to the stunt people that were actually on those polecats. And I'm making this video because I, I hope people can understand how beautifully crafted Mad Max really is. Hashtag respect the polecats. In case you've forgotten, real explosions people. That final scene where the war rig explodes, they pumped a thousand liters of petrol into that war rig, then hooked it up to a remote control system, drove it out with some cameras around it and blew that shit up. Just absolutely incredible and it is a testament to how good that film really is practically speaking thank you so much for watching this episode of what the fx please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification to get all my vfx breakdowns it's ruzi here i will catch you guys on the next level